What's up, YouTubers? This is Bobby Digital coming to you live from New York City and Ridgewood. I'm over here at my good buddy uh, Unreal Entertainment's uh, home, and we're fixing up his computer with a custom designed Windows 7 Black number 24, which is the Alien Edition. The Alien Edition basically is the Alienware look and feel of an Alienware computer. So, which had usually they have themes, so we, we created a nice theme for this one for a regular PC. This is a uh, quad core, okay, uh, Intel Core i7 computer. So, we're going to hook this up real nice with a 64 bit version of Windows 7 Black Alien Edition. So, right now we're just reaching the completion of the setup. We went through the spe steps where I wiped out the hard drive and set it up new, clean, a nice clean install of this version of Windows. And if you look down here, we're doing it USB style because disks are just too slow. So now we use USB, which makes it much quicker and easier to set up. And I, these are just some of my, uh, some of my uh, silicon graphic uh, USBs and uh, SanDisk uh, USBs, as you see here, nice silver color. But and this one is the Alien 7, which I've set up. I will do a video on how to set up a USB as a boot drive for installation in the future. But I just want to show you now we started, we figured, you know what, let's do this now and let the people see how it's done. So basically, it went through all these steps and now it's doing the completion. Then we're going to go through the setup, how I set things up uh, a specific way when I install Windows. And, and the proper way of installation of Windows because most people when you buy a computer it comes pre-installed but then you have to do updates you have to do all the stuff and you have all these trial versions of software we don't do that we do things where once it's installed and it's installed properly you never have to install anything you have to do with nothing it should, it should work straight out the gate that's how it works that's how it rolls straight out the gate everything will work and then of course, after all that is done and we do all the updates and everything, then we install the specific software that is needed per the customer. Everybody has their own needs and their own uses for the computer. So then we just take the, the setup and we customize it according to the customer. That's how, that's how I set it up and that's how I work. So we're on location here at my, at my friend's house and I want you to see the process, how this works. We're going to just walk you through it. So right now we're just about ending the completion and then the system will be boot and we'll be good to go. By the way, uh, when I set this up, when I do it through the USB, I, on this computer, which is in HP, the F12 key, when you power up, the F12 key gives you the options, boot options. Meaning, do you want to boot from a CD? Do you want to boot from a USB? Do you want to boot from network? There's many options. I chose USB, which pointed to the stick that I put in there, the SanDisk. And once I choose that, it goes, it bypasses everything in here and goes right from the USB. So it and it, and it, it thinks USB is a CD, but it, because it's USB and there's no moving parts, it's much faster, the process, and it loads up much quicker to set up, okay? So once this comes in, we're gonna see the customization and you take a look at how nice it looks and then we can further customize it as we go along. Okay, YouTubers, we're continuing here. So just take a quick look here and let me show you, as you can see, now it says Black 7 will continue after restarting your computer. Why do I call it a Black 7? You know that saying, once you go black, you never go back. I kind of follow that here. It's the same thing, Mom. I like to use a black theme on most of my stuff because black meaning it's, it's not your normal it is extreme, it is set up 100% with everything you need, so it's black in that sense, you know. Once you go black, you never go back. Speaking of black, I want to introduce you guys to uh, my road dog right here. This is the Alienware M17X. Um, let's take a quick look at this. Uh, it's customizable, you can change the colors on the keys, on the pad, mouse pad, you can individualize the colors or you can choose different themes. Okay, this is a Core i7 Extreme Edition laptop. Uh, I paid about 5,500 for this and the uh, graphic amplifier, which is not with me, of course, that's home. But this has the GTX, NVIDIA GTX 980M mobile uh, uh, video card. Basically, this video card is a beast. I can play 
uh, games like these and for full settings already increase you can take a look i got all the uh arkham games i got the wwe here lost planet 3 which is a great game of course i'm a battlefield 4 freak you will be seeing some videos in the future of me playing with my squad l rp which stands for long range reconnaissance patrol we have a blast when we play we play for real when we come across hackers we ruin their game ruin their night and get them expelled from the service because they ruin the the actual you know um uh the actual game itself the the experience they ruin it when they come in and they hack so we go against hackers we bring them down but we like to play against other squads and we have a lot of fun so you'll see what that's like in a future video just give me a little preview here uh i want you to see how i have it set up if you can see down here this is a touch screen okay if you look down here i have the rocket dock you see that Rocket Dock, and I'll, I'll be teaching you guys how to do this in, a few, in another video in the future, coming up real soon. This is how I roll. I set up the Rocket Dock, and I put all my applications here. As you can see, these are things that I use a lot. Okay? Uh, all you got to do is point to the application, and it bounces and it opens up just like a Mac. But this is a customizable bar. You can customize the look of the bar. I just have a basic look, but you, you know, there's many ways you can make it look like a Mac exactly like a Mac or you can you know color use colors and all kinds of solid I'll show you that as well so you can see how this is okay and uh, your touch screen right here so we'll do that um, so this is my road dog I take this with me everywhere this is my beast whenever I'm on the road sometimes I travel to other states and because I am power hungry mad mad power hungry and you'll see when you meet my tower in the home I need something just as powerful on the road, but this is actually more powerful than my tower, believe it or not. I run circles around it. The way this is configured, I, I've maxed everything out. 16 gig uh, DDR3 memory on this sucker. It's extremely fast, running at 2400 and change um, uh, the speed for the memory. Uh, this has an M2 512 gigabyte uh, uh, hard drive, which is basically a stick of memory. It's 512 and it just and it has slots for three more which I will be filling up soon and I also have in here the Samsung 850 Pro SSD hard drive one terabyte where I have most of my games and you know and I download stuff too in my 512 is where the operating system sits and a couple of applications and uh, Battlefield 4 sits on that okay so this is my road dogs I want to show you guys real quick all right it's a great it's a great feel if you feel this thing this is a solid it's a solid machine it's basically a, what they would call a desktop replacement okay uh, I'm gonna just close it down I'm gonna show you this is the back of the laptop you can see the Alienware logo okay it lights up right now it's, I just put it to sleep but take a look at this underneath here look at the exhaust system here to push all the heat out it has inside liquid cooling very limited liquid cooling in here to keep it cool and all the heat come out comes out over here it pushes it out and from underneath this sucker has a clips sound system in here top of the line sound system this sounds amazing okay we have back here take a look at the back we have here the uh, um thunderbolt hdmi and this plug right here is where my alienware graphic amplifier plugs into it I'll show you that in another video but that does when I plug it in I have a GTX 980 graphic card 4 terabyte the same as what's in here only it's a <clears throat> is the desktop version when I plug it in here you combine it combines both in SLI mode and it jacks up the graphic capability of this computer so when I go home I plug it have it plugged into my TV my 56 inch TV and I set it up and that's where I do my serious hardcore gaming from the laptop if I don't want to be on my desktop on my command station okay and if you look here in the side of course you have your you notice there's no DVD or CD-ROM because guess what it's the past we're already moving past it everything's USB based now if you want to plug one in USB based this that's up to you but I don't I don't deal with that no more uh, USB 3.0 okay your basic sound here okay this is the power, of course. This is the lock. And here, on this side, you see we have 
the uh, SD memory as well as uh, USB 3.0 and your network port right here. Uh, it's a killer NIC, not a regular uh, NIC network card. It's a killer NIC card, which actually boosts the connectivity and the broadband. It, it's a, it, this sucker, if I plug it into a network and I turn that sucker on all the way, I shut all the computers down, their internet, and I tend to you know slow down networks and shut down networks and, and greedily capture everything. So being a nice guy, I kind of keep it toned down, but I did that once. You know, it's both wired and wired as a killer neck. I went to a Starbucks and I shut Starbucks down, you know, just for fun, just for giggles. But you can do that. The killer neck card is, is great, especially for gaming, because it prioritizes your gaming packets. So you have much better response. Basically, if I'm playing, let's say, Battlefield, and, uh, and I have a good ping connection, my ping is usually like anywhere from 10 to 14 milliseconds that means i can see you before you see me like five or six seconds gives me a chance to get a shot off because some of these guys are much better than me so this gives me a little bit of a chance to survive in the battlefield but anyway this is what it is it's a great system very powerful nice diesel um and like i said all the components in here is top of the line you know i'm glad i bought this i'm glad i invested in it i got of course, my Alienware bag and all my other stuff, power supply and so on and so forth. The battery in this sucker here is really good too. Despite the, the drain that this thing takes, the battery they put in here is off the hook. I got it with a four-year um, protection and uh, labor, whatever. If I need anything or need a fix or need any parts change, like the battery, whatever, they do it for me for free. And that's it. So that's what I want to show you real quick before we go back here and take a look at the setup, which is almost completed. If you look over here. It actually has, it does all this work for you to save some time. As you can see, it's, it's updating the uh, .NET, Microsoft .NET, which is a very important component to the computer. All these customization options gets installed for you, so you just sit back and relax and let all that happen. Once it's completed and it goes into the actual windows, you're going to see an awesome looking desktop and the whole uh, uh, the icons everything will be customized and you'll get to play around with it some more and see what you can do with it and you'll see how good it is and how nice it runs after we do all the updates because you guys always go to do updates just want to give a little note to you guys if you have windows it doesn't matter if it's 7 if you have 8.1 if you have 10 every tuesday in the industry most most of us know not everybody knows but i like to share information every tuesday is patch tuesday we call it patch tuesday so kind of put that in your mind or you can you know in the beginning write in your calendar until it becomes natural every tuesday is patch tuesday why do i say that because if you do not update your window sometimes people's windows are automatic updates sometimes that's turned off default and some people don't look into that it's very important that you every Tuesday do an update, a Windows update. And that's why we call it Patch Tuesday, because every Tuesday, anything, any change in the security, change in any updates, you want to go into Windows Update on your computer and see if there's any updates available and just update all your stuff and bring it in so your Windows runs prime every single time.